Let's just sew whatever. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making the Triscal wallet from Sonar. I shouldn't be allowed to make this or anything else. Um, I messed it up a lot and maybe you did too, so we could do it together, mess up together. Um, yeah, something was not right and then hopefully in the cutting video I edited that I put the card slots in the wrong spot but it turned out super cute. I used vinyl and hardware that I purchased from a pre-order from Alchemats. This is not the greatest um, orientation, but is it not? Super cute though. We made it work in the end. I, I can't say I love just having the one s magnet. This is, it's not flimsy, but it's not like a, sub a substantial metal. So it doesn't quite have like a nice feel to it. And the magnet isn't super strong, um, but it's not bad. I will probably just keep this for me or give it to a Swifty friend and be like, sorry, it's not great, but it holds your stuff. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and direct you to Nicole's channel. Thanks for watching the intro. Don't watch the rest. Okay, bye. I'm going to use my card slot template tool. There is an accordion fold template that is include, included in the pattern pieces. I just did not cut it. And so we are going to have our interior top wrong side up. Use the interior top pattern piece to mark the card slot lines as shown. Use the measurements below. And then I've already punched holes. Okay, grab your accordion fold template and 48 inches. Start at the bottom. And then add that tape below. I've already added tape above and below all my slots here. I'm going to place that there. Okay. And we're going to top stitch. This vinyl is so cute. Right, right underneath. Leaving those thread tails nice and long. We're going to fold that down. I'm going to fold this up. If you have not made cards like this before, it is definitely confusing at first. But once you get the hang of it, you're like, okay, I got this. Top stitch under. Fold that down. So if you have that little template piece, basically you're gonna like fold that up. Um, it's definitely easiest to use this where you flip it back and forth, back and forth, but if you're making seven card slots, like that's really time consuming. So just check them as you go. Make sure they look good. So once you have the next one ready, you're stitching underneath.
pull that down and out of the way. Peel that tape. So when it's facing up, you'll be top stitching under the next one. And that creates where this one's going to go. Yeah. I was like, no. So when you fold it down, Make sure your card slots sit flat. I didn't leave my tails long enough here. So what I have done is I've folded those out of the way so I can see my original stitch line. I'm just stitching that back down. I was like, no, it closed it. It didn't. We're good. that down and out of the way. Sorry, all of those threads were just aggravating me. I really want to get some of the landscaping fabric to try. I just haven't yet. Um, if you have a preference for your card slot material, what did you use? I'd love to know. I'm using this like waterproof Ribbon? I don't really know, but like it's not good. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. <laughs> okay. So, top stitching. Leave those threads as long as you can. Pull to the back. If you can.
got one more. And now you're not, you don't have to, you don't top stitch that next one. Just cut this close to the edge and you can add a little bit of glue if you want. And then I'm just using that piece of tape to keep everything from like flapping around. But that is that. I feel like my card slots are a bit inconsistent and something you could do to keep it more consistent is check back here and see how much you've folded over. Well, technically I could still fix that top one because I feel like it's kind of low. But it might be okay. I'm okay with it. So that is that. So with your interior top wrong side up, finger press the creases along all drawn lines, folding wrong sides together but do not clip. We're just creasing to help later. Now we can move on to the next page. All right, with the interior, with the card slots face down and short raw edges toward the top of your work table, grab just the top raw edge and fold it down toward your body, laying it on top. And aligning the third to the fifth. <laughs> Every time, man. Basically, creating that fold. I think the wrong way. So there's my zip panel. <laughs> I got nothing. Okay, my card slots are face down and, my sh and the short raw edges toward the top. Grab just the top raw edge and fold it down toward your body with right sides together. So are the card slots face down now? We need a diagram. And like, I know I made it with her before and luckily Maybe I should have brought it down. No, I put it in my closet. I cannot go get it. This third line is going to go to the fifth line. What? Is that what we're doing? There's no way. So that's a zip pocket. Okay, this is my third fold line to my fifth fold line. So do I have my card slots on the wrong piece? I hate everything. Hidden card slots. Here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to piece it together. Okay. 
And haven't we used double-sided tape before now to put pattern pieces together? Probably that. So if you watched my cutting video, I had this piece left over, and it's perfect. <laughs> oh, man. If you've, if you know me, you know I'm not panicking about this. I'm just like, no. So weird. I should have added a little tag there or something. Okay, it is exactly what it needs to be height wise. Okay, wrong side. Okay. So now we just need to transfer all those markings again. Here's what would be hilarious is if it's still wrong. So the third and the fourth fold, or third and the fifth fold should kind of line up. Like that. Okay, so that makes my card slot look a little funky here. So I'm going to adjust it so that it doesn't look funky. And then I don't know if she top stitches that. It doesn't say, but I'm gonna want to. Just saying. All right, so my lines are off by like half an inch. But that just means I'm gonna take it from somewhere else. It's not that big of a deal. I mean like it's a deal, it, it's a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. And then for the one Nicole made for me, she has these angled, which is really cute, but it's okay. I'm a little sad though because now you don't see all these fun outfits and this blue 1989 one is one of my favorites because I get to be there that night with my friend Kat. So I pulled my threads to the side you're not going to see. Come on. All right, 
So now it says to make the third and the fifth meet, but I really can't do that. So what I think I'm going to do is fold this like that. So fold and then see what that measures. And then make sure that what I have here is also measuring that. So like 11 and 3 eighths, because then I can cut it off of something. Oh, <laughs> well, it's 3 eighths short. It's fine. We're going to make it work. We're going to set this aside for now and then never look at it again. So wrist strap attachment I decided to omit magnetic snaps can't really do that right now. That goes here. I'm like, I have an idea. I'll just mark that for right now. So it should go right about there, but we're gonna wait. <laughs> we're gonna wait. Well, luckily the final magnet goes through all the layers. I'll look it up. <laughs> Let's work on this. Let's work on this. Gather the interior bottom. Use a template. I've got all my card slots taped. The ID window. We're sewing around this. In my head, I'm just like, dude, you, you kind of suck. But I would never say that to a friend. So don't say it to yourself. So 
So we're going to glue this into place. And it goes above here. So it should be covering that card slot. So it's going to overlap. Centered. I don't think you're going to see it, but... This glue like sinks into this vinyl. Hopefully it'll be okay. Whew. Smells really good. isn't something that gets top stitched, but I'm going to sew I really want to sew above the line because my ID would get stuck and I'd get mad. Don't get mad, get glad. I'm going to add a little bit of duct tape. Keep it from shifting. Doing it. Doing it. Now we can start doing our card slots while all that's drying. I really need to get some Fabri-Tac. That, and we're going to start underneath this card slot here. Fold that down. It's probably not a good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I swear I know how to do this. It's just really late. Once that's there, 
Let's check it again. And then we're going to sew under the next one. Okay, so that's like half an inch under the next one. And then your top stitching above one you just did. to cut that. Then I'll add a tape. So every card slot should work. Yay. All right. What now?
Okay. Okay. Now... the exterior. We have the interior here. Interior bottom. Zipper pouch edge first. One, two, three, four. Yo, I would die if I just like totally mess this up. I don't think so. Inside money slot, great. Press a crease on the third fold line, okay. Okay, and we're stitching across that. Nicole, we need more pictures. So I want to make sure my edges stay nicely lined up. Fold everything else out of the way. Should rest about half an inch from the top edge. She says. Okay. I don't know, it feels pretty tiny. Makes sense though. And this starts our zipper pouch, which is where I'm redeeming us, baby. We're gonna be redeemed. I'm gonna do it. I can, I can get this. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. This is good though. We're running out of pieces in here. That's exciting. torture will end. Okay. I already laid these on my zipper. I'm 
My zipper pull is attached. This is where my zipper panel is going to go. That's my top. This is where my zipper goes. Okay, with the interior top, right side up, flap towards the top of your work area, lay the zipper pouch edge on top of the zipper tape with the zipper head to the left side. And then I guess we'll trim down the excess there. And then this gets folded up, placed up against that, and folded down. And I'm only going to top stitch along that angle. And then that gets folded down. Here's the zipper. My cards are in opposite directions, which is correct. And then I'm just making sure I can see the right amount of zipper tape both sides and that everything stays pretty well lined up. Wrong sides together. Hmm. Interesting. In in the mini, she has you sew this shut, but I guess in this one, she. She thinks you'll catch it. She knows you'll catch it. I don't know. I would imagine that's how that goes.
I'm gonna sew it like the mini Triskel just to be safe. I feel like she probably learned some things from the last one and so has changed the stuff. So we'll get as close as we can. Here we Matching up those angled edges. That's probably a bad idea. I feel like I had really high hopes. It's not working. Okay. Everything out of the way. We're gonna start at the top here. I am gonna start at the tab to close that because mine's angled. I'm gonna be like, Nicole, you have to hold my hand every time I make a Triscale now because I can't do it. She'll be like, babe, there's a video for that. I know. Oop, sorry. RIP. We doing it? I don't know. Okay, so this would be the inside snap. But I'm using this big thing. Okay, all that's left is like my wristlet strap, and I'll be honest with you, not today. So this is going to be our male snap there. And 
this is our inside flap. Okay. Yeah. You can put the magnet through the whole thing. What are you doing? Because you're gonna cover it up with the plate. So it's not that big of a deal. Woo! Also, please do yourself a favor. Make sure you put all of your screws a little magnet. Don't risk it. Okay, so that, that would line up here on the back. You would put your magnet through the holes, secure the washer, and then put that over top. Yeah. Okay. Like I, I feel like I knew that. Just wanted to be sure. So what I can do is I have to apply this one. So if I apply that one, I can make a guide for where that one would need to go. It's short. By that three eighths. But I think I could shorten it. It would be fine. Oh, no. I don't think I can. Well, I could reattach a top. It's going to turn out so good in the end, you guys. It's. It's really an investment. Well, something I can do is make this match here because like, if something I put in it sticks up a little bit, I can't say that I really care. I would much rather it like actually fit. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. I've been messing with it for like 20 minutes and I think, so what I ended up doing was I'm hoping I can get it closer to being right. Um, I matched the folds. It should be this fold hits at about five inches from up here. And I'm moving my stabilizer in hopes that it'll line up with the boxed bottom. Because I just taped it on. So my plan here is to flatten that. Squish that down. Okay. And then this should line up here. I'm just gently pressing it because I've got some tape there. Okay, yes. That looks better. Everything fits. So I think maybe my interfacing was just a little bit off. Who can say for sure? I think it might be still. Maybe not. I 
think it still is. No, I think, I think we got it. I think it's just really bulky vinyl. Um, my zipper box is going to be a little crooked on that base, but I can't move everything too much more. But I'm much happier with this than I was, so there's that. Um, and then I'm going to switch to a black thread to do my top stitching, but I still need to add my magnetic snap to the front. My friend is saying that my flap looks bigger than hers, but I feel like my flap kind of extends pretty far. And even in the picture, yeah, it covers most of the bag. <clears throat> so this is going to go on the front in the center. Pretty close to that bottom edge. I don't, I can't overlap the edge because it's not, it's not made for that. Like even if I tried to sandwich the edge, it's not made to sandwich. You'd see it and I think that would look bad. So I'd rather edge coat that. So I'm gonna find the center edge. <clears throat> Close to. And I'm moving that down a bit, straightening it. So that's where I want that center line to be. And so when I fold the wallet shut, that's where I want that snap to be. Which honestly is just a little higher up than this one. So that's where we're going to put this, the any portion of this snap. And then I'll stitch everything together. And if it doesn't turn out, well, it's one in the morning and I tried. Switching thread. I just think the black will look a lot nicer. And I'll be less scared.
So my biggest issues were that something wasn't quite folded right and I needed to fix that. And then my stabilizer was also not quite in the right spot. So all of those issues solved. I'm gonna start at the top here. I'm gonna make it as close to zipper box as possible. If this turns out to look good, I hope to someday edge coat it. Um, but who really knows at this point? Cut that afterwards. really happy with the black thread that I chose. I think that looks really nice. Okay, this is uneven. So I'm gonna trim it as best as I can. Some of this we're just gonna have to cover with edge coat. It's like concealer. 
I don't even want to like look at this, you know what I mean? Like really appreciate it until I can. Until I can be like, oh, it does look good. Cause right now I'm just like, it looks like trash. But I bet it doesn't look like trash. And I wouldn't tell somebody else that theirs looked like trash. So I love these Kai's scissors precisely for this reason. I can get really close and get nice cuts. Like that's as good as we're gonna get. Yeah, my zipper box is not where it should be. Those stitches should be like right down the middle. I don't know why it's so crooked. Because like my fold lines didn't seem crooked to me anyway. But I think once it's together, it's still going to look okay. Kind of want to like top stitch the one inch box at the top, maybe. I just feel like it would sit really nice but it'll be nicer to not have it actually, so we won't. So, can't wait to ruin this. So the elevator goes like that. Hoo hoo hoo! That is right with my top stitching. Just this, then this, and then we'll also need to punch out the holes for the screws. Okay, fingers crossed. Holes are punched. We want a little bit of glue. Mostly scared because I don't see the screws above the leather. So I'm like, will it actually work? I kind of don't think so. I mean, there's nothing else I can do, so I may as well try that. I have my holes marked out, luckily. Let's not lose the screws, shall we? Oh, 
was like she said, having just lost the screws. I don't know if that'll work. Screwdriver. I mean, I can get a scrap of interfacing to keep in there, but technically doesn't this, can't this just stick to itself then? Or no, because it's too wobbly, it needs something to bite into. Well, I cannot move that again. All right, well, nothing else I can do about this wallet situation. I don't even think leaving one layer of anything is gonna help with how thin those screws are. Okay. There's nothing to keep it in place though. Like, I guess it's bite. If it has enough bite around all that, it should be okay. It'll be better than it was. Okay, I'm gonna get scrap for this to chomp down on. I don't know what my plan is with this glue. I'm just putting it in some spots. It smells good though. Okay. 
Okay, well. Last chance. Fancy. Don't let me down. not bad. Again, I'm not going to know till it's closed and I can look at it and maybe I've had a decent night's sleep. mad at it. My flap's a little slanty, but I don't think you'd notice. I really like the magnet. I think it's cute. Closes pretty well. Doesn't feel extremely strong, but like, all right, it's cute. And then if I wanted to add a wristlet strap, I could put on that corset ring, but I really don't want to even think about it. So that's my second attempt, a second attempt at uh, the Triscal wallet. I think third time is gonna be the frickin' charm. Let me know if you want a tutorial for when I do the third time or if you're like, please give up on YouTube. You're not good anymore and we don't want to see it. I, I should know that too. Um, I'd be the man. Okay, bye.